to throw uh, force at it to deal with the problem. But during the times of Fashola, he felt that it is important to throw brain at the problem. And what better place to get best brain than the university system? So the transport department was existing as a unit in the Department of Geography. Then later in the Center for Planning Studies for decades. But in order for you to take this new mandate of addressing transport issues for Lagos, particularly, and for mankind in general, we went to the US, uh, the dean, Dr. Bawala, and some other people copy what should be. So they established the first school of transport stand alone. Whereas, because in Nigeria, up till our own time, transport is either in management, in social science, in geography, in engineering, as a subunit. But this is the first one that stands alone and that is running three units transport operations and management, transport planning and policy, and transport infrastructure and technology. So that is our mandate, that is our mission. Although for now, a, a full-fledged university of transport has been established in Daura. So uh, we are in trailblazer, but we are not alone there now. Okay, sir. How can you say about the students' capacity? Well, for now, we, we have, uh, you know, transport is five-year program. Mm -hmm. So we have on the average 30 to 50 per class times five, you have about 200 to 250 uh, for the undergrads. For the masters, we have for professional masters, MTP planning, we have about uh, two sets of about 30, 30, that's 60. And for academic masters, which we have introduced in a while now, uh, we have about 10 and but we have just introduced the transport logistics uh, this year, and the subscription is about 50 now. And we have graduated our first PhD just this month. Talking about the collaborations now, the collaboration the school has had with others, can you say something about us? Ah, our collaboration is very ex extensive. Let me remember the most that comes to my mind now. We have the Interlink, which is International Network for uh, Mobilities in Low Developed Countries, comprising of about uh, 12 countries, UK, Ghana, um, Uganda, Kenya, Bangladesh, uh, South Africa. That's the, the one. Then secondly, we now have with Fogo Research Foundation, um, uh, which is about research. We are currently having a research that is running for Lagos. We are researching into the e-daily traffic, the O-Ride, O-Pay, Uber, Taxify, both in Lagos, Kenya, and uh, South Africa. Then we have uh, uh, MOU with uh, Queenie Foundation. Uh, this is a Switzerland-based uh, organization that is giving us funds for training, for infrastructure, for research, and for innovation. So those are the ones that are, I remember now that are international. Then for the local, they are, they are numberless. You have automatics, you have um, a test and assessment center doing the driving school for us. And uh, we have transfer, of course. Uh, that's uh, the most productive one in terms of intellectual capacity. And we are starting one with now a transfer uh, to uh, collaborate on tackling the most difficult aspect of uh, transport management, which is man. You know, in transport management, you have the issue of the route, the machine, and the man. But the most problematic of them is man, because man is the one that will maintain the machine, that will interpret the road, that will interpret the signals, 
So the skill and the attitude he has will affect the other three variables. So, and that is what these people are bringing to the table for us. And uh, that's where the relationship uh, is going to have its unique selling point. And uh, more training for drivers, more training for the teacher of teachers, or teachers of drivers, mm -hmm. and so on. Thank you, sir. As the dean of School of Transport, sir, yeah. what's your vision for the next five years? Well, my vision for the next five years is simple. First, my I will be dean for the next five years, but the school has a vision, first of all, to build the faculty. Because we are new, uh, we need to really put young people in place. I want to, by the end of this uh, quarter, our agenda was to have about uh, three PhDs. We have, that is January, February, March. We want to have our staff. One has been taken 28th of January. So that's my immediate focus. Get the staff uh, to the highest level and uh, get new hands, the, the young lecturers. I want to build a, a, a strong faculty that relies on knowledgeable and highly skilled academics. So that's my first vision. Secondly, I want the transport technology and infrastructure to be a problem-solving engine room. Not only the TTI, that is transport technology and infrastructure, but also the transport and planning, so that in the next five years, when you are thinking of transport management and transport issues, you think School of Transport, Lagos State University, throughout the country. That's my vision. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah. Really good my pleasure. Thank you.